She is probably the most determined person I've ever met in my life. Education is not something international student Parvina Eshankulova takes for granted. I had to walk like five miles from my village to the street because I want like to have that education. The 19-year-old first came to the U.S. on the FLEX program that assists students from former Soviet Union countries. And that's when she landed in Lambert, Montana on exchange. She went from a rural place to another rural place. <laughs> so she kind of chuckles about that. But was still a world of difference from her village in Central Asia. She comes from a life that, um, yes, we have poverty in our country, but it's she definitely comes from a life that's very different and what we can imagine. Nicole Kellick and her sister Stephanie Bergtosen both assist with exchange students in the district and instantly connected with Parvina. I think of her as my daughter now. But near the end of the year, something was off. She finally broke down and she told me that when she went home, she couldn't get a scholarship to go to university. She would be married off by September. My dad called me like three months after and he said like, as soon as you're getting here, your marriage is like, your marriage going to be like after a month. It's the reality for many women in her home country, but the Lambert community knew they couldn't let it be her fate. It just really hit me when she was on that trampoline with my daughter, giggling and having fun. And I just thought she's never been a kid, never in her whole life. And in the spring of 2023, they created the Parvina Education Project, which helped her come back to the States and attend college at MSUB, where she is now studying health and human performance. She just wants to be able to, you know, finish her degree. She wants to go into health care. Now with big dreams, they hope that the program can grow and reach a bigger audience to help Parvina and others in the same situation break systemic rules. Girls can hear it or somebody under forced marriage and they could have confidence that they can get a, a skip of it and they can change their life. In Billings, Isabel Sparts, MTN News.